Here's a little intro before the intro. What an inception are we in right now? So this video, I'm just going through some of the cars that are going to be going on sale or they're going to be changing prices next week. So you're going to want to make sure you buy them before you waste any money. Don't be like me. I, for some reason, even though I made the video on these, I, I, guys, I just bought this. I just, I just bought this and it's going to be going on sale next week. Don't do what I did. Um, don't be stupid. Okay. All right, let's move on. So last week, Rockstar announced that they were going to be increasing the price as well as decreasing the price of a few vehicles in GTA Online. Now, I did a video showing you guys what you should buy now and what you should wait for. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to the end of the video here and in the description. So go watch it after this, because if you're curious about what's going up in price or what's going down in price, you're going to want to watch that because the reason I'm doing this video here today is because next week is the week that they're going to go up or down in price. So we're going to have to do a little spending spree here today, ladies and gentlemen. So we're here in my 50 car garage. And if you don't know, I have some videos on my channel. Each level of this garage is like a top 10 video. The one we're in right now is my top 10 Benny's uh, vehicles. All of these are purchased at Benny's, fully upgraded at Benny's. And this is my top 10. So as you can see, though, the point of me showing you this is we've spent a lot of money recently on doing up cars. And buying and doing up cars, close to like 30 million. But that's not going to stop here today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad that my character looked at that because that is probably one of my favorites. That thing is beautiful. But anyway, let's get into our phone here and let's start shopping. So for the most part, all of the vehicles that are going to be going up and down in price are all seem to be war stock vehicles for the most part. So let's go ahead. The first one I'm going to buy, I already know what it is. It is the Deluxo right here. I'm so mad. I'm kind of kicking myself because I mentioned in that video I was just talking about where I tell you what you should and shouldn't buy. Um, this was on sale during Black Friday and I didn't purchase it. I just didn't purchase it. I was like, eh, I don't need it right now. I'll buy it later on. But I always wanted it. I just didn't buy it. And now here we are. It's going to be going all the way up to what? Five, like 5.7 or something close to that million. So I, we need to buy it. We need to buy it here today. So that's what we're going to be doing. I can't get the trade price because I haven't completed that. So we're just going to go ahead and do it. It does hurt though. It still hurts to spend <laughs> that much money on one of these vehicles. All right, let's go ahead, deliver it here. Oh, and take this thing for a spin. This isn't the only vehicle we're buying, but this is probably the most expensive. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Just listen to the sound it makes when you open the door. <laughs> so cool, man. So cool. All right, I've wanted it for a while. I've been too cheap to purchase it. Now we've purchased it. Let's take this thing for a little spin, shall we? I mean, if you don't like Back to the Future, what is wrong with you? That's, I mean, that's all I can say. It's just a fun vehicle, man. And then you go ahead and do this. <laughs> it's just so much fun. It is so much fun. We're going to have to customize it. Listen, it's not the fastest vehicle in the game. It's flying around, but it turns on a dime, which is great if you're being attacked by griefers. You can easily dodge bullets or missiles, I should say. Uh, but it's just a fun vehicle. I see a lot of people flying these around when I'm in public lobbies. I actually, the other day, I was doing a delivery mission and there was two guys flying these across the map. I don't know what they were doing, but they were up to something. But uh, either way, if you don't own one and you've been thinking about buying one, now is the time to do it because it's going to be going up quite a bit. All right, let's see what we can actually do to this thing. I think I want to keep it stock. But uh, let's just have a little sneak peek and see what you can do to this beauty. I should also mention the handling on this thing. If you've driven one, you'll know. But even stock, like even when you're on the ground, the handling in this thing is really good. The turning radius on it is probably one of the best in the game. All right, let's see what we can do to the Deluxo. I like keeping it stock. I love Back to the Future. But let's see if we can make it look even more back to the future. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted it to look a little futuristic. We did a few upgrades on it. We've changed, obviously, the front bumper. We've changed the front grill. We kept the wheel stock. I wanted them to stay as they are. We did a little spoiler on the back. Nothing too fancy. Changed the exhaust around, tinted the windows. Obviously, full armor, full brakes, full engine. All of those upgrades have been done to this vehicle. And uh, yeah, it's... <laughs> It was a little expensive. Let me tell you how much this was. So it was 200, around 230,000 it cost to do the fully upgrades on this thing. Uh, but worth every goddamn penny. All right, let's take it out. All right, the sun should be going down as is. <laughs> I also did underglow. I was going to do white, but I really liked this blue. It's like a light blue. It just fits the car, man. It just fits the car. Let's have a listen. Wait. 
<laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, the underglow, I don't have... If you guys have seen my videos, I do not have underglow on almost all of my cars. Maybe two of them have it. Uh, but for something like this, it's just perfect. It's just perfect. You've got to have the underglow, right? You've got to have it. It just fits. Go away, Dom. We're busy. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. I can't fault this thing at all. I, I should have got it during Black Friday, but I didn't. Uh, but now we have it, and I'm very excited. I, I'm very excited. All right. There she is. Looking beautiful. I didn't even do the... The Xeon headlights, because I liked the white. I just feel like it fits this car more instead of like that blue tint. Uh, but here she is. I absolutely love it. Make sure you go get one now because they're going to be going up by a lot next week. All right, let's move on to our next purchase. All right, so we've just finished up with the Deluxo. Absolutely love it. Just such a fun car to drive. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the one just beneath it, the Strongberg. I don't own this vehicle, obviously. Uh, but this one is also going to be going up in price. No, it's not. No, it's not. I messed up. I completely messed up. I'm stupid. It's okay. You can call me stupid in the comments. It's fine. I'll have the prices up on screen here for you. I can't remember off the top of my head, but you guys can see it. Uh, and here we go. 3.1 million. Almost 3.2 million. Eclipse Garage. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. I swear. See, every video I've done, by the way, if you look at all my top 10 videos, like my top 10 San Andreas Auto, my top 10 Legendary Motorsports, my top 10 Bennies, all of them start with me around 65 million, and then it drops to like 50. And then here we are again right now, doing another spending spree on some cars that are going to go up in price. And we're in the city. We started off at what, like 68 million? And here we go. We're going down again. All right, let's go take this thing for a spin. So here she is, the Ocelot Stromberg. So I don't know what I'm going to do to this, but uh, this is what it looks like before. And here she is after. <laughs> now, I listen, I had no inspiration for this. I have no idea what I was doing. Originally, I thought it'd be cool to be black and red. And then it just didn't look very good. And then I was going to make it look like the ocean. I was going to do blue on top and then golden on the bottom for the sand, for like a beach, right? The sand and the ocean. That looks stupid. And then I just fell on this. And I actually like the uh, the color combo. Would I ever own something like this? Probably not. Um, but this is what it is. And we fully upgraded it. To fully upgrade this thing cost me about 320000 320000 uh, to fully upgrade this thing. Anyway, let's take her out for a spin. All right, we also have the underglow on this. We went with the same blue, mainly because the bottom of this is blue. And I just, I thought it would look cool. Um, <laughs> so anyway, let's listen to what it sounds like. All right, so you can hear there's a turbo on it. I rarely put turbos on my cars just because I think it sounds stupid. Um, if you had a tuner car, fair enough. But most of the cars, I think, sounds ridiculous with it. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. It doesn't handle as well as the uh, the Deluxo at all. But it, it's not too bad. But that's not what this thing's for. Anyway, it's dark. So let's wait until it gets to the daytime. All right, the sun is coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can actually see this vehicle a little bit better. Obviously, one thing I forgot to mention... Uh, it obviously also has the rockets. We have some missiles on it. Look how cool that looks, man. <laughs> it just... Oh, okay. This car's fun, but this isn't the main part. Let's take this thing for a little spin, shall we? And see exactly what this thing can do. So, as far as handling is concerned, like I say, as you can see right there, it's not the greatest. It's not the greatest. Obviously, you have missiles and stuff, which is a lot of fun. But what this vehicle... Look at that. Even a handbrake turn. It just... It, it cannot turn, man. But this vehicle is not made for that. What this vehicle is made for, the reason we bought it here today, is to go straight off the pier. That is right. We're going to be ramping off the pier because this is the first time I've actually owned this vehicle. And uh, whoop. Boom. Go on, switch. Oh, I forgot to hold. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Submarine. James Bond Lotus, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, is it fun? Yes, it is. You could shoot rockets under here as well. Or torpedoes, I should say. Of all the unsuspecting fish and sharks. Uh, but I mean, this is technically, it's one way to get, you know, rid of the griefers. You know what I mean? If you're being chased by griefers, all you need to do is jump off into the water and away you go. 
It's also good if you're trying to find hidden treasure and things like that. If you want to go and explore the ocean. Um, it's... <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, right? If you wanted to buy one, you're on the fence of buying one. Obviously, this is the week to buy it because starting on Thursday, you are no longer going to be able to buy this vehicle for a decent price. It's going to be ridiculous. And then obviously, once you're done having a little exploration in the ocean, you're just going to drive on up. And then as soon as it prompts you... Boom! We're back, baby! <laughs> It's stupid. Is it stupid? Yeah, no, it is definitely stupid. But it's cool. I actually really like how this car turned out. I'm a big fan of the color now. Now that I think about it. But anyway, that is this. Let's move on to our next one. And also, if you're wondering what happens if you were to do this in the middle of the street. Yeah, nothing. You're stuck. Don't do it in the middle of the street. So there we have our two cars. Uh, for this week and these are the two out of all the things that are changing in price these are the only two i wanted to get as far as cars are concerned so make sure you go out and buy them today or this week you have until wednesday to purchase these at the price they're at currently before they go up so go ahead and do it right now but let's move on to our next one but before we do that, actually, I want to give a shout out to the Weaponized Ignis. If you're on console, this is 3.2 million and it's going to be going up to 4.5 million. If I was on console, I would 100% be buying this vehicle. It is an awesome vehicle. It's not available on PC, unfortunately, but it's a great vehicle. And obviously, as you saw from the beginning of this video, when I was talking about this thing right here that I've paid for and it's not even on sale... <laughs> I just wasted money. So all this, all I can tell you is, um, yeah, do as I, don't make this, don't make the same mistake I did, okay? Yeah, be better, be better than me. All right, let's move on, ladies and gentlemen. Another awesome vehicle. I'm actually waiting for the terabyte to go on sale. I know it's cheap, but I'm cheap as well. And I still haven't purchased this thing. It's great for doing warehouse missions or like special cargo missions because you can just park it up and source the missions from here instead of having to go to your CEO office or your arcade. It's a great vehicle. I'm sure you already own it and you can customize your oppressors with it. But speaking of oppressors, if you do not own this thing yet, purchase it because this is going up to 8 million next week. I'm, just, I'm warning you now, purchase it. You're going to regret it. And uh, yeah, you, you've been warned. But on the other side of that, if you prefer this vehicle, the oppressor, wait, wait until next week because this one is actually going to be going on sale. So you'll save a little bit of money on this thing. And it's a really fun motorcycle. So the Ruiner 2000 is a vehicle that a lot of you guys have said you're very excited that this is going on sale. That is right. This is going to be going on sale. It's currently 5.7 million. This is going to be going down to 3.75 million. So I will be picking this up, but next week. This is not one for today's video. So last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, the Akula. So I've always wanted the Akula. I've never purchased it. And I honestly wouldn't be purchasing it now, except for the fact that this is going to be going up almost a million dollars. This is currently, as you can see, 3.7 million. It's going to be going up to 4.5 million next week. And I know that I want it, but I haven't had a need for it. But will I ever have a need for it? I don't know, but we're buying it right now. And there we go. 3.7 down the drain. We're back into the 50 mark. This happens every time I do one of these videos, man. It's always starting off at 65, ending up in the 50s. But anyway, let's go check this thing out. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen. I have been wanting this for a while. Haven't purchased it. But the fact that it's going to be going up in price so much, I just had to do it. I had to do it. All right, let's take this thing for a spin. I mean, it's... Uh... It's a, it's a great looking, it's a great looking helicopter. Let's be honest, absolute beauty. The guns on this thing will shred your enemies. I mean, it handles really well. I mean, this thing is just, it's just good for doing like quick little missions. You know what I mean? Obviously it's not quite as good as getting like the buzzard or the sparrow that can spawn right next to you. Um, but it's, it's still really good. I would say the main positive of this vehicle, especially if you're in a public lobby, is obviously you can do this. I pressed the wrong button, obviously. Uh, but you can do this and put it into stealth mode, and that'll take you off the radar. So, I mean, if you're in a public lobby and you just want to knock about, have some fun, uh, do some missions and stuff like that, going into stealth mode makes a big difference. All right, let's take this thing into our hangar reel here. Reel here, real quick. Okay, as far as upgrades for this thing, let's go ahead. Upgrade 100%. Yes, please. Engine. Yes, please. 
bombs. What do we think we want on this? Explosives, incendiary, gas, or cluster? Let's do the cluster. Handling. So this is an interesting one. So smooth handling, sport handling, or race handling. Obviously, race handling. As far as livery, we're just going to go for a basic camo. I think that looks good. And as far as colors are concerned, I actually do like it when it was just black. But there is one color. Which one was it? I think it was the wine red. This one right here. It's just dark and stealthy, and I like it. So primary weapons, we have the 50 cal minigun, or we have the dual 50 cal minigun. Obviously, we'll go for the dual. Secondary weapons, mounted missile barrage, or mounted homing missiles. Obviously, mounted homing missiles. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. An absolute beast of a vehicle. I absolutely, I'm glad I got it. If you, hopefully I didn't mess this up and it's going to be dropping in price like the other bloody thing. But no, we know this one's not. This one is 3.7 million currently and it's going to be going up to 4.5 million. 4.5 million. So go ahead and purchase one of these if you haven't already. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My spending spree. An unnecessary one, you could say, because I did spend too much money, more money than I should have, on the Stromberg. But listen, I honestly, I don't know why I did that. I literally, <laughs> I knew it, but I wanted to buy it anyway. But anyway, don't be like me. Make sure you purchase that vehicle next week. But the other two, if you want the Deluxo or the Cooler right behind me, buy it now. But the, the Stromberg, yeah, wait until next week for that thing. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new so you, uh, you can see more videos like this one. And uh, just give me a heart, comments, or sage, or or some, some sort of something nice in the comments to make me uh, feel better about spending. I messed up. Okay, I messed up. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always, with a brand new video. Goodbye!